When our phone rings, the one thing is people aren't calling to say, hi, how's your day, happy birthday. They're not saying that. When the phone rings, there's a problem. Now, how severe the problem is varies after every call. So you could have Mr. Smith complaining about a dog, noise from the neighbors, loud music, fireworks. I shot my wife. So you never know what's going to happen when the phone rings or what is going to be on the other end. I had a gentleman call me. It was a flash flood, and his car got overtaken by water. And I said, okay, where's the water at? It's up to my door and it's rising. It's starting to come in my windows. I said, you know what? Keep me on the phone and get on the roof. Because if it starts to overtake the car, you don't want to be inside. He got on the roof. I said, do you know how to swim? He said, why? I said, because if the water rushes over the roof, you need to find something stable to swim to and hold on to when help gets there. We have cards that we can say how to do CPR, what to do for a fever. There's no cards for that. It's just go. In the moment, go. This is a situation where this guy could end up drowning or end up loss of life, but not on my time. He got out. He got out. When people call, typically it's at their worst day. And it's not just that one person that we're dealing with for hours on end. It's that one person for five minutes. Then the next person on their worst day for five minutes. And the next person on their worst day. So you're looking up to 100 worst days every time your phone rings. It's just one after one after one after one. You don't have a time on a daily basis to really stop and think about what you're hearing or what's going on. It's just on to the next. They build up on you and they become heavy on you. And if you're not called aware, they end up bringing you down and tearing you down. I, I didn't realize it at the time, but I had entered a phase of burnout. I felt that going to work was a hassle. Here we go again. What now? What? So instead of going in wanting to make a difference, I started resenting people that are calling me. Another domestic, another disturbance. And can't people just get along? I think a breaking point was an infant that had drowned through all the instructions of trying to revive the child and get the family to perform, they really didn't perform. The child did survive, but the feeling of helplessness of not being able to do anything physically to instruct them to do the best they can to save their child failed on every aspect and every angle. I can't fault them or I don't fault them, but the frustration that I felt on my end was just infuriating. Anger, rage, resentment can't come through, regardless of what's on the other end. You need to be the voice of reason not the voice of resentment. And at that point, I knew that I was in danger of losing my profession because you can't do that. I felt dark. I felt heavy. I felt that. So I went back and spoke with my command staff and told them I, 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 something's wrong and I, I need help. Once I realized that something was off with me and I was able to go out and speak to someone about what was going on with me, them letting me know that I'm not alone and I'm not strange for feeling the way that I feel and I'm not wrong for feeling the way that I feel. But not only that, but there are others that feel just like me. Firefighters, police officers, EMS personnel, dispatchers. Wow, there's a lot of us. Really, it was the peer support and helping myself also through helping others that ultimately not only made me start feeling like myself, but better than I was prior to actually reaching burnout. And it's almost like family, everybody with open arms. And you're not judged. You can speak freely to people who understand. And even if they don't understand, they can relate. And even if they don't understand or can't relate, it may be resonating in them and they don't know it. And you trigger that response that, hey, it's all right, or it's gonna be okay. I was burned out. I've been to the dark side, but I've also made it back. And to let anybody know, it's not the end, and there's always light at the end of the tunnel.